in science and technology, of course, this has been an incredible, uh, incredible uh, century, un unbelievable century. We've got oh, so many things, the discovery of DNA just as an opener, the, the, the end of so many diseases, the splitting of the atom, for heaven's sakes. But my nominee still, and will forever be unless somebody can prove otherwise, was man's landing on the moon. You know, the, the 15th century wasn't exactly uh, free of historical developments. There were quite a few things there. The Renaissance itself began in the 15th century. Leonardo da Vinci, John Dark. Well, just for one big, for instance, the invention of the printing press in 1440. A mighty big item for the future of mankind. But what date is it that we all learn in school and we carry with us all the rest of our lives? October 12, 1492, when Columbus landed in America. The, the, the Scandinavians have a good point. He may not have discovered it, but by golly, he got the publicity. <laughs> he landed it, <laughs> landed here, and that's the date we remember. Well. Sure as the devil, the date that kids 500 years from now, it's 500 years since Columbus, of course, a little more than that now, the uh, 500 years from now, what's the date kids are going to remember? The date, I suggest, will be July 20th, 1969, the day man escaped his environment on Earth and indeed landed on a distant orb. It's a date that will forever live in history. And out there, 500 years from now, as they, uh, as they enjoy their life in some future climb, some future planet, some future space station, uh, they will look back. And they'll wonder at that crazy little vehicle that man flew out to moon, propelled by some kind of weird firecracker rockets, some kind of thing they call rockets. And by intergalactic internet or perhaps extrasensual perception or whatever they learn by in those years, they'll say, that was the Renaissance. That was the day we emerged from the Dark Ages and we began flying into space. I'm just very glad that thanks to Lyndon Johnson and a few other far-sighted pioneers, it happened on our watch in the 20th century. Thank you. <laughs>